Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a wear test of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Obviously, the Urban Decay All Nighter massively raved about. If I got this from Feel Unique and I did like a Feel Unique haul, and if you haven't watched that out, then you should. Um, well, yeah. I have worn this a couple of times and basically I've just done my makeup because I'm going to go out to, to buy some squash mix to have it in my room so then I don't have to go downstairs to get the squash mix meaning I don't have to go as far so lazy um if at the moment it's Tuesday Tuesday the what? hang on a sec 26th is Friday, so 25th is Thursday, 24th, so it's the 23rd today, yeah I believe it's the 23rd, yeah I'm pretty sure it's the 23rd and it, last time I checked my phone it said 28 degrees, so it is bloody hot, because we are currently in, we finally hit summer and I've got a dress on. Firstly, my ripped jeans have a mark on them, so basically they need to go in the wash, and obviously, and the only reason I'd have worn ripped jeans is because they've got the hole in the knee, so it's a little bit more ventilated, airy, whatever, but yeah, so the only thing I had left was a dress, which I got from, oh god, where did I get it from? I think it was from New Look, but this was like two. This is 2016. This was like August 2016, but it's a pretty dress. But as you can see, done my makeup and I need to set it. And with it being a sweaty day, not sweaty day, with it being a hot day, I'd get sweaty. And so it'd be a good tester, like. I'm going to show you a close-up of what the makeup looks like. I'm going to have to kneel down on the floor for this one. Ugh, room's not big enough. But yeah. This is my makeup before. By the way, I was doing a more natural brow. Which is why my brows aren't really filled in much. Oh well. Yeah. Let's just spray this thing. I sprayed way more than I usually do, but yeah. I did buy the travel size if you hadn't already guessed. Also, this was an impromptu video, like, wasn't planned or anything. So, yeah. There's setting spray on, and I'll update you guys in a couple of hours. By the way, at the moment, it's 27 minutes past two. So, let's just say half two, just to be easier. So, have to and I'll check back with you guys in a couple hours yeah I've just gone back from Asda and I am sweaty especially on like my face like on my nose like here also on my forehead and also like here around my nose like those are the main areas so like my t-zone basically i'm sweaty however my makeup apart from my lipstick a little bit it looks all right but god like you see here so makeup still looks good 
I can definitely feel the splatter around my hairline though. Like up here. But then again, doesn't everyone? And also like on the back of my neck. Mm. Now, let's give a mini Astro haul. I picked a slot. I picked up the Ribena, no added sugar, black currant, the one and a half litre bottle, which was on rollback, and so it was £2 instead of, I think, £3.50 or something? It should have been like 3 50 but it was on rollback, which meant that the one and a half litre bottle was actually cheaper than, I think, the 750ml bottle? And I love Rabina squash. I get through it quite a lot though, but then again, that is a smaller bottle, I believe. But yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure she buys the smaller bottle. But yeah, I love Rabina. And then I got the Robinson's double strength orange squash, the one and a half litre one. And again, this was on rollback, and so it was. £1.75 yeah because I spent £3.75 and it lasts twice as long I've already used opened it and used a bit of it used them in here I'm already pretty much halfway through the bottle because I haven't had much to drink like I had a glass of like summer fruit juice this morning but yeah so I'd like to point out it's currently 20 past four so it's almost two hours after the first time and so looks all right all I've got to do today is kind of tidy my room so that shouldn't be too hot like too much of a strenuous I think that's the word task and I've got oh, I've got all three windows open. I've got two big windows and a small one. So if you hear any noises in the background, just know it's that. But I do close them at night because otherwise folks get in because of the light. And I especially noticed that last night. But yeah. I kind of wanted to pick up squash from brands that I've tried and I know and I know are good because when I did NCS the second week I the tap water was terrible and so when I went to the spa on the second day I picked up a bottle of orange squash and it was extremely weak like you'd have to put loads in to be able to taste it so yeah but to be honest Like, I was on Nottingham Uni campus. I only needed it to tie me over, so, yeah. Yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a couple of hours. I've literally drank this much in like five minutes, like five, six minutes. That's how thirsty I am, how much I do not drink. But yeah. By the way, I was kind of feeling this, I was kind of feeling a red lip today, and also actually putting on makeup, like, I don't put on makeup during the day, like, at least not usually, ugh, Got sweaty, sweaty around my boobs, TMI, like, well, most of my viewers are girls anyway, so, whew. I hope my room comes down because the thing is when I left my room I did actually leave the small window open but it's still bloody hot in here like I'm pretty sure it's still 28 probably more apparently it was 36 in Skegness like bloody hell I would check the temperature but my tablet's not on at least I don't think so I'm too sticky and sweaty and ugh. Yeah, it's 
lights off, so, but yeah, I walked the, like, half an hour in, like, 28, 30 degree weather, it's probably at 30 now, I'll check, but I think it's 30, my phone's saying it's 31 degrees, like, what? But apparently on Thursday it's supposed to be 33 here in Lincoln. I hope Saturday doesn't rain though because my mum's partner is doing my Nana slabs back in Leicestershire. So, yeah. I think the bugs have died from the hot weather, I think. Yeah, they've died. On my towel. Gonna need to get a new one. <sighs> and I know they're dead because they're not moving. The heat has killed them. Actually, that was probably from last night. I gave them no escape because I didn't leave a window open because I'm not having spiders come into my room whilst I'm asleep. I already had to get rid of two yesterday. Okay, so it's three and a half, like almost three and a half hours later, and I thought I'd pop in. Obviously, lipstick still the same. Wasn't touching it up because I wasn't leaving the house. As you can see, um, low power mode. Sweaty, like here, and, like obviously here, forehead, like nose, especially here. Bit on my chin, probably here. Like, I will point out I've eaten, so the lipstick has run. But here is a close up. Like, my makeup still seems on. Like, don't think there are any differences. Like, if anything, maybe, like, the makeup probably a little bit of redness here but I honestly cannot remember like how the makeup works and honestly sometimes I do that where if you can see like the redness there but yeah obviously you guys can sort of be the judge of that and I think it's, it's probably in I think in the house it reads like 20 degrees that was probably like an hour ago that was red, so it could be 28, it could be 27, but yeah. I'm soon going to need to close my windows because if I don't, bugs will get in and I don't want bugs getting in. Yeah, but I'll kind of catch up and update you guys when it comes to bedtime. Or closer to my bedtime slash closer to when I'm actually going to get into bed which at the moment seems to be like 12 like it's midnight but I want to try and go to sleep a bit earlier and try and have a productive day tomorrow try and get some editing done some video planning done that sort of thing maybe go out and buy a calendar not a calendar a diary so I can kind of record um, plan that sort of thing but I don't know or do I wait till I get paid on Friday even though I've got money in my bank just because then it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable eh possibly but yeah all good I'll update you guys okay so it's now half ten and I'm about to go to bed and like take off my makeup I'm actually getting an early night I'm saying half ten is being early, but I've been going to sleep at like twelve. And obviously it's like what six and a half hours after I first applied the setting spray and makeup or at least finished makeup. Yeah. No. Seven eight. No, it's eight hours. Where did I get six and a half from? But yeah, it's been eight hours. And obviously I'm extremely sweaty. Like, and it's not just my face. Like, my arms 
and my back was sweaty. Like, oh, obviously, I'm extremely shiny because of sweat. And again, normal sweat places. Now, I have noticed, like, looking in the bathroom mirror, that it's cracking here. You probably can't tell, but it's cracking and, like, separating. And I'm just... I can kind of see more of my skin tone coming through, obviously. <laughs> I didn't even take the lipstick off, but yeah. However, obviously, it's been a sweaty day, and so makeup isn't going to last as long on like a sweaty day. However, I think if it was like 15 degrees, maybe, <clears throat> then I think the makeup would have lasted longer. However, sweat obviously breaks apart your makeup quicker so setting spray can only stop so much however if you're only going on like a night out let's say and you'll do your makeup about and let's say you're gonna head out the door at eight and you start at six and you finish maybe seven or something you then at the very least it's gonna last till 3 a.m which a lot of people I know get in at that time. Some don't even get in until like 5 a.m. And so obviously it does work for eight hours. Uh, and it did say up to 16, so obviously it depends on your skin type and everything. However, I do think, think that I need to try this on a day where it's maybe raining or something. And just to kind of make sure like test it on like in the winter or like autumn or something and just when it's a lot cooler and I'm not sweating my face off because I did go for a walk so that did have some effect but yeah I'm now gonna do an Instagram live and I'm gonna take off this makeup but, and if you're not following me on Instagram, you really should. And, like, kind of, like, my Insta handle is always in the description. And, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up, subscribe, comment video ideas, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!